What is up guys, it's Mike here, and today I just got a package in the mail. We ordered this from the Monster Jam Superstore, uh, maybe about a week or two ago. And if you guys know the recently released trucks that were released, you basically know what this could be. So first off, I know it's been a couple weeks since I made a video of any kind. Kind of been taking a break, relaxing the last couple weeks I have of freedom before I go back to work full time. So yeah, sorry on the big delay. But anyway, this is the newest thing we got in the collection. So I figured let's open this first because we have a ton of trucks to get to. And we're going to have a lot of videos coming out this week. So anyway, this came by actually Amazon Prime which is kind of weird. Usually when I order something off the Monster Jam Superstore, it usually comes through the mail. But for some reason, I don't know why, this was actually supposed to come on January 29th. And for some reason, this was actually delayed until February 9th. So, kind of interesting, interesting there. If you guys live in the tri-state area, New York, New Jersey, you know the mail has been absolutely horrible over here it's on like a two week delay i don't know why um i'm gonna guess it's because of uh covid but um yeah anyway so the monster jam superstore if you guys know the truck that came out it was the inverse stunt truck now you guys might be asking yourself why is this box so big i didn't just get the stunt truck i wanted to kind of change it up this year so we did get that um off the top of my head, I don't remember how many I ordered. Now, looking at this package, this thing is all bent. <laughs> um, the box is not in good shape. It was kind of open before I cut it open. So, I'm hoping that the cards on these trucks aren't that bad. The Superstore has a bad reputation for bending the corners and really destroying them, but I'm kind of hoping it's not that bad. So, here we go. As we open it up right here, yeah, it's been, uh, it's been a crazy couple of weeks, but I was able to find case C of the Hot Wheels Monster Trucks, which is pretty cool, with some help. And, yeah, we also got some Spin Master Trucks, so here is the order number. Alright, so, okay, we got four of them. Yeah, and I ordered this on the 22nd. So, decent amount of time to get here, but I'm really hoping these aren't destroyed. Let's take a look. So I'm going to try to move the box out of the way here if I can. And kind of weird, only two bubble wrapping packages, so that's kind of interesting. But anyway, it is the Superstore, and here is the first truck with the brand new cards. Very nice. This is actually in very good condition. Not bad. Not bad at all. I really like this. So that's one truck. Right now I'm just making sure the cards are okay. Chuck number two, and as you can tell, for the card collectors, this one is a little broke, so so far this would be the one that will be getting opened. Not that bad. Now, moving on to the stunt truck, a lot of people were kind of upset with this. I, myself, was kind of like, mm. oh wow, this card's destroyed, this one, well, not destroyed, but we got some damage up there as well. However, I do like the new, like, cards, how they're not triangle shape. And here is the last one, and this one is probably the worst out of them all. So I got one card, and of course it was the first one, and we got some damage on the sides. So, looks like this one might be the one I'm opening. And usually when I order off the Monster Jam Superstore, I only get the trucks, but this year I did decide to change it up a little bit, and we actually did get the yearbook as well. So the 2021 yearbook, let me move this all out of the way real quick. Alright guys, now that the box is out of the way and everything, this is exactly what we got from the Superstore. Four trucks, one yearbook. Really, really cool. I like this. Um, this, actually, I did not get the yearbook for 2020, so that's like the other one I'm missing since I got back into collecting. But anyway, moving on to the trucks, I gotta admit, I really do love the new packaging. I don't know if I have a Spin Master truck near me. Let me just see if I do. I actually do. Alright. So I got an extra Megalodon truck here from series 12. And as you can tell, the new packaging on these trucks, I gotta admit this, I did like the triangle packaging on these, but they did get bent and destroyed very quickly. And these were always kind of like destroyed. Luckily this Megalodon one ain't, but you can just tell 
I think this just looks more formal. This just looks a little better. So I do like how Spin Master's going with that. I do like that. So the inverse truck, kind of, well, stunt truck, kind of um, weird to say the least. Now, we just saw this truck in the Christmas or holiday truck, if you want to call it that, which was released in December or around Christmas or I forget exactly when, but sometime in that area. And then we just got this released on January 1st, basically, well, it's supposed to be January 1st, but I think it was more like January 14th, January 20th. And I gotta admit, when I first saw this truck getting released or coming out, at first I was kind of like, uh, they're releasing the same exact truck, just a month apart, different scheme. Um, I don't know how I felt about it. However, I do like the casting. And so far, we've really only seen this casting as an exclusive to the Monster Jam Superstore. So I think that's pretty cool. So... I mean, in that ballpark, it is kind of rare, and I also do believe there's only 3,000 of these produced, um, also with the holiday trucks, and those ones sold out pretty quick, but these ones, I think there's a limited number of 3,000, I could be wrong on that, it doesn't say on here, it just says limited edition, but I do like how it's inversed, I think it looks a lot cleaner, I really like that matted, well, glossy black. And honestly, I think this one does look better than the original stunt truck that we did see last year. And then on the back here, you have the, I guess, the computer rendering of the truck. And I'm not too sure, but I'm pretty sure this paragraph on the bottom here, if you guys want to pause the video and read it, if you don't have the car to truck, I think it's the same exact paragraph that was on the normal one that we got last year, the exclusive one. But nonetheless, a pretty cool truck. Um... I'm going to guess, in my opinion, this was pretty much to show the new packaging. I like how it's a square now. I really do like that. And it's overall a cool, stealthy-looking truck. I mean, I like this casting. I hope they do more with it. It is a pretty heavy casting compared to other trucks. But it's kind of cool because now you know we had three of these trucks, three different versions. And all of them was an exclusive release from the Superstore. So... I hope that trend will continue. I think it's cool that the Superstore has its own exclusive truck. Now, I do have four of these trucks. I have one card that's in perfect condition, and that's the one I'm going to save. And if you guys know me, I always save a truck, and then I open the truck, usually the worst card. Now, I do have two other ones. Um, if you guys need them, let me know in the comments or send me a message. I'm always willing to help out um, collectors or if you guys need them for your kids or anything like that. So, I do have two extra ones now. Obviously, the uh, cards are a little messed up, but 9 times out of 10, they get opened anyway. But nonetheless, pretty cool. And the other thing I'm really happy about this haul is definitely the gearbook. So, I'm going to actually look at this here, and then I'll review it in another video if I get the time to do it. And also, opening up to the first page, which is pretty cool since I just opened it, this Dragonoid playset, we just got it. And I just finished the review video on it, so that should be out pretty soon. So I can't wait for that. It's going to be pretty cool as well. And yeah, so let me know what you guys think about the stunt truck. I know a lot of you guys were like, eh, it's a stunt truck, I'm not going to get it. However, us collectors, we collect everything, so there's that. <laughs> and yeah, I can't wait to see what the new exclusive truck's going to be. What we know right now is it's going to be available March 1st, which is only about three weeks away. It's a green truck, and it looks like it's an SUV casting, and it looks like it has green slime on it, or something like that. So that's going to be interesting, and green tires that glow in the dark. So I can't wait to see what that's going to be. But um, with that being said, let me know in the comments if you guys did get these trucks, if you got any of them, or if you just passed up on it, because it was kind of weird to have two exclusive trucks that were basically the same casting and everything back-to-back. -back. So... Yeah, but anyway, I think it's pretty cool. I think the truck looks nice, and I actually do think it looks a lot better than the first incarnation of it that we got last year. But yeah, with that being said, guys, let me know what you think. Don't forget to like, don't forget to subscribe, and I will be back more this year, trust me, with more racing videos, everything. It's just time to crazy. So hang on, subscribe, like, and I will see you guys in a future video.